Walker, Walker Tea Review, and I invite you to join us as we look at another tea. This tea is from Samovar, which is a, a, a line of tea houses or tea shops in San Francisco. This is their Baimodan, which we're going to be looking at. I'm going to go ahead and put a few leaves in there. Again, this is a white, well, yeah, white tea. We're going to um, rinse it off. Also allow this, uh, as we rinse, of course, we're able also to remove, clear away some of the residues that may be in our drinking cup as well. There we are. Now, I'll give this one some time to steep. A lot of your white teas prefer a lower steep time, or lower steep temperature rather. But you will want to experiment and find the, the steeping style or approach that best suits your, your, ta your palate, your preferences. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. Get this out of the way. And we are talking about Samovar's Baimudan, it is a, or White Peony is another name. Uh, information provided talks about the steeping instructions. Uh, the, they recommend, there's a constant discussion of how to boil water. Uh, does, does bringing it to a full boil uh, deplete the oxygen level in, in, your, in your water and therefore give you a flatter cup? Uh, but the instructions here are quite the opposite. They believe boiling the water is best and then let it stand for three minutes so that it cools down uh, to about 170, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can pour 16 ounces of water over one teeping, uh, teeping tablespoon, rather heaping tablespoon of leaves and steep for three to five minutes. Okay, so one of the things that we notice about a Bimodon or a white tea before I forget, let me go over to talk about the price. Uh, currently, it's offered for, or 0.75 ounces are offered for $7.5 dollars, seven and a half dollars for 0.75 ounces. Uh, we, what we notice about a kind of a tea like this, a white tea, is you're going to get a, a gentle tea, uh, starchy aspect to it, like we said that, and that is evocative of the the feel of a piece of raw white potato in your mouth a little bit of that kind of texture in there also you may find it similar to the the acid, the taste or the feel of a, of a cucumber in your mouth okay so that's one aspect you're going to get a bit of a sweetness and it's going to be a delicate sweetness like a a field wildflower type it's going to be like a, a clover aspect a little sweet to it, very gentle. Okay, so those are some of the things we're going to look for. As far as the leaf color goes, you're going to get a range of some of the dark, some fairly brown looking leaves. You're going to get some dark green color of your leaf, and you're also going to get a silvery tip to it as well. Okay, I think that's ready. So before it oversteeps, I'm going to pour this out. Okay, that looks good. So we'll set that down and let that kind of cool off. We will talk about that. I'm not quite ready to smell that one yet, but uh, what the way that you'll find a lot of Bimodons originally, you have a long stem piece shooting off with one, maybe two, uh, possibly three leaves coming off the side and up the middle at the very end is a silvery tip. Of course, that size may not uh, make it through the whole processing process or, uh, and packaging and shipping so that when you see it, they may be separated. But those are the elements that you'll find in your tea, in your Bimodon, okay? Other things that we wanna look at, um, talk about our wet leaf here for just a minute. Now, I'm already getting some kind of um, bakey, well, roasted, I should say, Roasted or boiled smell. 
a little bit of a um, a little bit of bread, sourdough bread notes in there as far as the aromas. And also of some kind of green vegetable, a very faint light kind of green bean. Also we're going to be talking about our cup as well and what we find here. Okay, now we did let this one steep a little bit longer than what we could have done considering the, the smaller volume of water and the amount of leaf that we put in, but this gives us an idea of the color that we're going to see here. We see a, a deep yellow, um, almost a almost a, got a brownish tinge to it, but not as not as brown as say um, oh, oh, a lot of your beers still have a, a browner, uh, deeper yellow brown far as far as the brown spectrum. This one's still lighter than a, than a lot of your beer colors. Okay. So, other things that we want to talk about. I'm getting a, a sweet note already from this, that kind of clover smell. Okay, so we'll also be able to talk about this tasting and notes from previous tastings off camera because we taste, we would steep this tea more than once and uh, get, make our impressions of what happens on subsequent steepings. The starchy element is there, but it, it's quite smooth. It, it's um, it does the body does go through the mouth, cover the mouth. It does coat well. Um, the aftertaste carries that on, consistent with it. Uh, the thing that you note is towards the back and top, and actually towards the back and front. I'm pulling out uh, that sweet, uh, faintly tangy aspect to it, which kind of helps kind of waken up your, your mouth, which is nice. Okay. Um, previous notes I talked about, uh, yes, there was the bready aspect of the dry leaf. Uh, the aftertaste in previous tastings was that of, of cucumber, which I mentioned is still characteristic, quite characteristic of this tea. So to kind of wrap it all up, we gave this tea, uh, so again, this is Samovar's by Modan, the, with the, the liquid, the dry leaf, the wet leaf, the characteristics overall, a 90, which is quite high as far as our score ranges go. Um, we could have had a stronger profile. I would have liked to have carried a fuller range of a little bit more of the sweet aspect, a little bit more of the, um, the flower, the clover type notes that some of them, that some other Bimodons offer. But, diligent effort, diligent work from Samovar. I'm Jason Walker, and this is Walker Tea Review.